In other news here tonight, checking in on the housing market, 2023 mortgage rates were high, 8% or more at one time. It could be a reason why the total number of homes sold in Jefferson County was down by nearly 250 compared to a year ago, down 500 from 2021. More about the market with Seth and News reporter Chad Sherrod. It was an issue in 2023, and it's an issue now. Current mortgage rates on a 30-year fixed loan are around 7%. Last fall, it was around 8%, some of the highest rates since 2006. Lance Evans with the Board of Realtors says it can mean fewer people are looking to sell. Less choice means, first of all, the prices are higher. And less choice also means that there's, you know, it's, it's harder to, to get a home. The COVID pandemic was rough on the housing market, but according to Evans, things are steadily improving. In 2023, houses spent less time on the market and significantly fewer homes were for sale compared to 2022. Things are getting a little bit more healthy. It's still a, it's still a seller's market, it's not a buyer's market. It's, there's still more buyers than there are sellers. One thing that isn't improving for buyers is the average price of a home. Since 2020, property costs have jumped significantly each year. In 2023, the average cost of a single family home was nearly $200,000 in our area. As for mortgage rates, Evans says there's a chance they could go down this year. The Fed has signaled that they may be dropping them later this year. Um, I don't know how, by how much because I'm not on the Fed and my crystal ball is foggy. In last night's State of the Union address, President Biden proposed a mortgage relief credit that if passed could help first-time home buyers contend with interest rates. Chad Charette, 7 News.